Sapper Gardener representing Essayance Family Garden and we're going to do a real quick final entry into uh, the WIG 2022 Winter Indoor Gardening Collaboration that was started off by GT Junior Groves in Alaska and uh, I'm going to turn you around and show you what we have going on and it's honestly not a lot right now we're about a month away from our last projected frost date so we're still being very careful what we start and what we don't start so let me show you some of the stuff we've got some we just put in this weekend and some we've had in for a while so let me turn you around so I guess first thing we can start off with is our blue turmeric we've got some that's come up already there here, here, and we've got a pomegranate that I think has gone to the upper room. We're going to give it a little bit more time. We got that from Tractor Supply, and it looked dead from the time we took it out. But we're going to let it sit in there and keep watering it for a few more weeks and then uh, put it outside. If it's dead, it's dead. We'll just. Uh, plan to get another one later. We've got one healthy one in the greenhouse and we just think it'll produce better if there's at least two. And our ginger is doing okay. Uh, I've been rotating it around. It tends to lean towards the light and hopefully this will stand up and some of them are already reaching for the light behind it. And we've got one of our grape vines that was already leafed out, so we did not put that outside, but it's looking great. It's growing well, and as soon as we get our Micro Orchard 2 area uh, graded and graveled, and our last frost date passes, we're going to get that and a few other plants I'll show you in a minute outside. And our cassava is doing well at least the one that we overwintered indoors the one in the greenhouse is uh, it's looking pretty puny we hope it'll come back but if we try to overwinter in the greenhouse again we have to decide if we're going to increase the heat temperature setting which means more money or uh, if we may just try to overwinter a couple of them inside the house. The one in the garage we think has gone to the upper room too. So, yeah, we just have to balance what we're going to pay to keep plants alive. And of course, the uh, bananas are still doing great. The pups are doing good. This pup here is about ready to come off. But we're still going to try to wait until our last frost date. And what we'll probably do is move these two large bananas outside and then try to overwinter them in our greenhouse or in the garage. And the small banana pups, we'll repot those and keep growing those inside and see if we can uh, recycle, rinse, recycle, repeat to keep banana plants growing. Uh, we don't need dozens of banana plants though so we'll see how those go up until the time we get our high tunnel land and then we may try to overwinter them in the high tunnel uh, maybe with a couple of solar panels and a small heater but we'll see and we still got our tomatoes we've started more peppers our time is doing good over in the corner I guess I could show you a little quicker and these are all slower growing plants so we don't expect them to shoot up overnight we've got some leggy greens there we've got a moringa which is the first to really take off out of the about a dozen plants that are seeds that we've sown we got some merlot cabbage 
we've got to relook at our light situation. Last year we had too much light. This year we may not have enough to keep the plants from getting leggy, but that's okay. We still have time. And we've uh, put some avocado seeds over here and one of our ube starts. And we've got more ube floating around somewhere. And we got another blue turmeric. If you can see it right there. So things are doing pretty good. We've got a couple of bare root plants that we showed in a previous video. Gooseberries and grapes that aren't leafed out. And we're just waiting on them to finish up micro orchard too so that we can uh, get them in the ground and we got a uh, Nanking cherries we got some uh, gooseberries over here some uh, aronia berries and the same situation since they're leafed out we're not going to put them out and let the frost kill those we'll just wait and put them out later and apologies to uh, RB the garden nanny we said we were going to show putting our ube in and I just procrastinated and procrastinated uh, we gifted some to her and uh, I was going to show how we do it but it's actually pretty simple uh, we just uh, bury the, the ube we take some of the smaller ones we bury it and we put a light coating of soil on top and we just wait. It's a waiting game. Ube can take weeks or it can take months before it sprouts up. I've actually had a Ube that I've had in the down here in the Sapper Cave for three, four months. Didn't do anything. I put it outside and as soon as it warmed up outside into the 50s at night, boom, it just started growing up. So hopefully this Ube does well and hopefully uh Renee, who is RB the garden nanny, hopefully hers does well too. And we are going to start our sweet potatoes soon. These are Beauregard sweet potatoes. Uh, we cut them into chunks. We're going to let them uh, crust up. And then once they crust up, we're going to uh, add some water, put them on toothpicks, and hopefully get slip starting on these. We'll also be doing that for our uh, Japanese sweet potatoes, uh, Okinawa or Murasaki. And uh, hopefully we get a good harvest from those too. And we got more of our blue turmeric here. None of it has sprouted up yet, but we're hopeful and we're going to be patient. I may actually move these over closer to our bright light over there and see if that makes a difference but we're just a little bit more limited on space which is uh, of course uh, on me we have plenty of space here I just need to get it organized <laughs> so real quick update and we want to thank our friend GT Jr. for starting this collaboration uh, this will be our final entry and hopefully everyone enjoyed it and you'll follow us along where am I at? hopefully you'll follow us along as we get our micro orchard 2 area set up we get our micro orchard 1 area cleared and uh, we get space to put more plants in the ground so really quick if you're growing indoors or you have ideas for better ways for us to grow indoors, just put it down in the comment. We're happy to learn. We're happy to share what we're doing and uh, just happy to grow it up. So on behalf of the family here at Essence Family Garden, this is Rob the Sapper Gardener saying God bless our great country America and God bless you wherever you reside around the world. Take care. Sap her out.